Hello everyone, I'm making this video due to popular demand, so here I am making it now. This is about a news piece that just recently came out, um, like a couple days or so, and this happened on May 1st where apparently there were alien beings or something that resembled alien beings that were found in someone's backyard. This was a family of people, and um, I'll leave the uh, the a link to a news recording of the conversation when they called the police and reported that there was a craft with aliens or alien-like beings, and apparently on some police um, videos of them just doing their normal police work you can see in the background a something in the sky falling that looks like a shooting star but it really like expands out way further than a shooting star is and it's not just like a white color it's it's like a interesting color so i'll let you watch that so i went ahead and did a meditation and tuned into this and then I also had someone else uh, a different psychic look into this as well to verify whether or not what I was seeing was was making sense with what they were seeing too so I will get to to that separate information after I go over the information that I was getting first so um, yeah so the first thing that I was getting when I was tuning into this was that this, this seems to have been coordinated very well. I guess the question here mostly is, is this a psyops or a psychological operation done for some purpose? Some people suspect a fake alien invasion, etc. And other people say that, well, maybe this is real authentic contact or disclosure. So th those are the questions here. So it did seem to be very coordinated. And um, I got the sense that this was not a crash landing. So I immediately was tuning into it as being something of a non-human source. And I was getting that they appear to be from around the Earth, but far outside the atmosphere. At least that's just where my attention was being drawn. And um, there may be many others out there surrounding the Earth, just past the atmosphere and everything at this time. There is an intention to make a shift taking place on the planet. I also was getting that they're not trying to harm people because if they wanted to, they would have, but they didn't. Um, there was some calculation, again, there's lots of calculation that showed up here that goes very well planned out. Um, and there was calculations about this being a safe place to land while still making an impression. But um, it was intentionally a soft impression being made because they didn't want to cause too much fear. So it's like people who would be in too much fear can just dismiss it. But then there are people who can still find it and it still has a change, but it's not too dramatic of a change. So I was getting lots of things being mapped out with coordinates, as I've already said. Um, and there was also a little bit of concern for their safety, that being the um, beings that were showing themselves here, which seems to be intentionally planned out. So there was also um, news reports later on that there was a van circling the house and people were questioning if this was a government van doing surveillance or something of that nature. And um, so what I got was that this appears to be somewhat of a not necessarily government but it felt like something like a secret government type of operation here where th this person 
really felt like a spy who was reporting back to someone else. Um, there was a lot of desperation from this person, as if they were really rushed and stressed out about something. And the phrase, um, I heard the words, not exactly, but you know, for YouTube, they'll say, we need to get the F out of here. That's what I heard in my mind. And it was like they were supposed to not be noticed by people. Um, and when they asked what this was about, it was as if they were scanning the area, like kind of like sticking something out the window or um, just f towards that area. Scanning it for something, I'm not sure what though. Um, there is some fear coming from this person in this van about, um, well, I guess the people behind the person, about people becoming friendly with ETs and this causing some stress for them. It doesn't seem quite like the government, but it seems more like a small group that's sort of working, a, like somewhat has attachments to the government, but is really outside of the government. I got this, I, and I don't know if this makes any sense to anyone or is in, of any value, but it felt like there was something kind of like ghetto about them, like it was very rush and like, just like very ghetto. That's just the sense that I got about this operation and that they're not quite as sophisticated as people would imagine some sort of operation like that being. Um, at least for this specific situation, that is. Um, and I also got the sense that this felt very corporate in nature. The next vision that came to me was that of the family that um, saw these aliens in their backyard on their phones communicating with government-like agencies, telling them what they saw. This was also something that came up for the other psychic. You saw very similar things. Um, it feels like, it felt as though someone was filling out a questionnaire at a hospital. Like when you go to the hospital and you have to fill out all this information. That's kind of the sense that it felt like the type of information that was being communicated back and forth here. And I got the sense that this family feels the need to report to the authorities, um, but they're also not trying to become famous from that, or from the situation. They're not trying to, you know, broadcast this out to the world. They're more just so trying to communicate with the authorities in particular. So regarding kind of like what this is all about, like, like why is this happening? I got the sense that we're like the whole world is just being watched right now by many ETs is what I was getting. And we're in a process of becoming more aware of their existence. Now I've actually been saying this for a while that we're in this change, massive change taking place. You can find that in my other videos, but it seems like by 2025, the end of 2026, we'll be like at a whole different level with things. So, um, these ETs, they want to make us aware that they are not our enemy. And that seems to be the main purpose of what they were doing in this particular situation. And I was getting something about downloading information and it was as if they were downloading information into humanity and that this appearance helps trigger something to kind of activate and to start. Um, I also get that this is a group effort not done by just one, you know, spacecraft, but there is a whole bunch out around the um, the atmosphere of the Earth, beyond the atmosphere of the Earth, pretty far away. And they all seem to be working together to coordinate this operation. 
so um, that was the gist of what I was getting. I felt that, you know, this is a interesting subject and I wanted to have someone else's opinion on this as far as psychic insight. So I asked a different psychist, psychic who would like to remain anonymous, but what this other psychic was seeing was the caller, the person who was calling the uh, police about what they were seeing in the backyard, this person sitting blankly like sitting with a blank stare and sitting there and really integrating things so this just kind of confirms um, some things about what I was seeing and um, kind of says like okay this person wasn't you know told to do this this isn't an act this is something that they're really processing and having to integrate there was something about the timing of this being done on purpose and I was also getting that too I didn't mention that but that was the sense that I was getting from this the other thing was the word Pegasus came up and you know I don't really know what that means this other psychic didn't really know what that meant either but I did look it up and it is a constellation that's um, named after a Greek mythological god maybe it's a god i'm not really sure it's like a horse with wings and um so i'm just gonna leave it at that you can do your own research on that i don't know re really quite what that means but if you have any ideas um i'd love to hear it in the comments section so feel free to let me know if you know anything about that so um I just wanted to mention also this really validates um, some of what was showing up for the month of June in my June prediction video. But at first I was confused because the first thing that I was seeing for this month was like this fake energy, like a fake smile. So I was immediately like, oh, like this could just be like a psyops, like something fake news, you know, something that is being um, there's some narrative behind it but um, in the reading for this month or the, the prediction for the month I really was seeing that more associated with social dynamics and then um, the next thing that was coming up for me was within that social dynamic people are kind of forced to you know be around each other in situations that may be fake but there was something that allowed people to see and notice what's under the water and so like the literal image that I was seeing was a dead body under the water being discovered and um, the other thing was skeletons in the closet coming out and overall this being a positive thing and humanity waking up due to the previous three months or so where I've been seeing a lot of negative energy being um, stimulated and releasing and this being the month where things are really finally releasing and the uh, and people are really starting to make the shift now so um, that's how this correlates to my psychic prediction for June that I did um, at the before the month started. So I've also done a video on Stephen Greer and Michael Sala that I just posted, I believe yesterday, comparing the two of them and um, kind of digging deeper into some of the information coming from them. And so I would recommend watching that video. I've also done a video on the recent military whistleblower um, to determine whether or not what he's saying is part of a psychological operation or just someone trying to get famous or just some BS or if he's telling the truth. So make sure to check that video out as well. And the last thing I would like to mention is that I've been doing a lot of readings on people from people who claim to be part of the like secret space program 
or have, you know, knowledge on aliens and things of that nature. So I've been doing a lot of videos like that, and so some of the people that I have um, done readings for are Stuart Swerdlow, Megan Rose, Elena Danon, Jimmy Payne, um, Randy Kramer from Cosmic Disclosure, Eric Adamo. These are people who claim to um, have some pretty interesting, you could call it far out information. So some of them I feel are truthful and some of them are frauds. And um, I'm not going to post negative um, stuff about people generally speaking publicly so if you would like to find that information out you can join my patreon to see those videos it's only f it's only five dollars so it's pretty cheap and you can have access to all the previous videos that i've done so if you've watched this video to now i'd really appreciate a thumbs up for uh taking the time to do this and i know that a good amount of you were interested in this video so hopefully you are able to see it now um, besides for that, um, yeah, subscribe if you have not yet. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Oh yeah, and the links will be below to the Patreon and um, also the other videos. Thank you for watching. Have a good one.